Unit Introduction. In this unit, I show you how to set up orthographic views within Blender. Orthographics are used to be more of a technical artist. Okay, so in usually the, the scheme of things, there's a person, a concept artist that concepts out the piece, and depending on how good that concept artist is, he might make some orthographic views for the actual modeler. And then the modeler would have to kind of follow those. In most cases, uh, they're they're somewhat not technical. Sometimes they're they're perfectly accurate. Sometimes they're not. Nobody can. Well, I can't say nobody. Most people cannot draw perfectly accurate orthographics, so they're always going to be off just a little bit. Um, I've used quite a bit from a site that I'm going to be sharing with you in the next video. And, you know, they're always just a tad bit off. That, that's, you know, no problem because uh, what happens is you just need maybe technically the right-hand side if it's symmetrical model. And if it's asymmetrical, well, you don't have to worry about it being dead on to the other side either because it's asymmetrical. So symmetrical will be in both sides and asymmetrical will be in just one side. Now, just kind of a word of warning uh, here's where students kind of get frustrated because, you know, after this video, technically they think that they need an orthographic in order to make a model. So I've saved the orthographic lesson till later on in the series this time. Usually I teach an orthographic lesson right off the bat. But what happens is I've noticed that students get hung up onto the point where they never develop an imagination. So you do not need an orthographic layout in order to produce an imagination or form. So that's, don't get hung up on that, please. Um, from here on out, you can either choose, hey, I can get an orthographic view and model everything so perfectly in OCD that it just, you know, it follows to the letter of the law and it looks perfect. Or I can jump in, create some shapes, blend them together, and have some fun too. So either or, perfectly good workflow. Uh, just don't get hung up on the fact that you need orthographics every time. Now, uh, this is where I kind of stopped in the, in the video. So you can see this is going all the way up to the assignment. And this is what I had produced and then I leave you up to your own demise to finish out the series. But I give you tips, tricks, and how to model orthographically, which is a different mindset altogether. I will tell you that. Again, don't get hung up on all the details or you'll get totally frustrated. Um, take this lesson pretty slow. It is kind of difficult to wrap your head around as far as the polygon reduction and why I do the things I do. But if you can see here how well this is beveled out, okay, that bevel right there is a pretty hard thing to pull off. And I show you how to do that via doing a multi-res modifier and then doing a polygon reduction afterwards. So just hang in there. It looks good after the fact, but it is kind of a difficult workflow to kind of wrap around. All right. So enjoy and have fun. See you in the next video.